our dear grade 7 learners, welcome back to Felicians TV. Are you ready for another fruitful day of new learning experiences? We're glad to hear it from you. I am your teacher on screen, Mrs. Jenaline A. Batalia, and I will be your learning body for today. And together, let us learn and enjoy while in the comfort of your homes. Before we start our lesson, allow me to share with you our target objectives. First, we are going to differentiate renewable from non-renewable resources. Next, we are going to suggest ways on how to conserve the natural resources. Now, what are natural resources? Natural resources are things that people use that comes from the environment. It comes from the earth, sun, and atmosphere. Examples of Earth's natural resources include light, air, water, animals, plants, soil, minerals, and fossil fuels. Many of these resources are changed in the product that make our life more comfortable and more convenient. Natural resources can be classified into renewable and non-renewable resources. A renewable resource can be used repeatedly and replaced naturally at the same rate the resource is used. Common renewable resources used to produce energy include Solar, like the solar panels converting solar energy into electricity. Wind, which can turn turbines to produce electricity. Hydroelectric, which involves moving water, turning a turbine. Geothermal, which involves capturing the underground steam that flows through a turbine and then produces electricity. And biomass, which involves plants and poop being burned to produce electricity. Air and water are renewable natural resources too. They don't regrow like trees or have babies like animals, but they are always being renewed. They move in cycles. They go from one place to another and often go back where they started again and again. Remember, renewable resource can regrow or be replaced within a person's lifespan. Now let's look at non-renewable natural resources. A non-renewable resource is a resource that forms at a rate that is much slower than the rate that it is consumed. Coal is an example of non-renewable resource. It takes millions of years to create coal. And once it is used up, it is no longer available. You can use the phrase con to remember the three popular non-renewable resources. These stands for coal, oil, and natural gas. Nuclear fuel are also non-renewable resources. Minerals used for making metals are also non-renewable resources. For example, the steel which is used in making buildings is made up of iron ore. Iron ore is mined from the earth and is limited resource. Always keep in mind, a renewable resource takes longer than a person's lifespan to be replaced. In fact, it takes millions of years to be replaced. Now after knowing the differences between renewable and non-renewable resources, it is also important to know how you can help conserve the natural resources. Now, can you think of ways on how you can help conserve the natural resources? Correct! You can reduce, reuse, and recycle. For example, you can turn up the lights when you are not in a room. This will reduce the use of fossil fuel used to make electricity. You can ride your bicycle and walk more to reduce the amount of gasoline used to transport you. You can reuse things like plastic jugs, jars, 
paper and bags. Each time you reuse something, you conserve the natural resources that would have been used to make new ones. Remember, most of our natural resources are limited, so we must use them wisely. Now to find out your understanding about the lesson, let us have an activity. In this activity, you are going to decide whether the resource is renewable or non-renewable resource. For number one, we have petroleum. Is it renewable or non-renewable resource? Okay, petroleum is a non-renewable resource. Correct. Next, number two, we have wind energy. Is it renewable or non-renewable resource? Okay, that is correct. Wind energy is a renewable resource. Next, biomass energy. Is it renewable or non-renewable resource? Okay, correct. Biomass energy is a renewable resource. Next, number four, we have coal. Is it renewable? or non-renewable resource. That is correct. Coal is a non-renewable resource. And for the last one, we have hydroelectric energy. Is it renewable or non-renewable resource? Correct! Hydroelectric energy is a renewable energy. Congratulations, grade 7 learners! You are really fantastic and you did a great job! I hope this lesson helped you in understanding the difference between renewable and non-renewable resources. Once again, I am your teacher, Mrs. Jenaline A. Batalia, leaving you a message that you can learn something new if you listen. Thank you for watching. God bless.